right? But the thing is, at that time, Najib was already found guilty, right? So and there's, Najib, there's yeah, no the former him. the former prime minister who stole the former, 4.5 billion. He was already billion. found guilty, but he's still a member of parliament because apparently, according to Malaysian law, even if you're found guilty, if you're going through a, uh, an appeal, you still can be a member of parliament. So he's appealing the sentence. He's appealing the sentence. And he, and he couldn't leave the country because... So he can't leave the country because of the legal problem. So he might as well be a member oh, yeah. of parliament while he's still there. <laughs> Is yeah, he... he's already been convicted to 14 years, by the way, guys. <laughs> 14 and... years? Jeez! <laughs> it's on appeal, though. So is he... Oh, yeah, and he, he, owes, he owes backdated tax like a, like a billion ringgit. That's about a quarter of a million bucks. I mean, go in style, a billion. Is yeah. he the same guy who also who blew up the model? Exploded the <laughs> supermodel lady? Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. You got to say allegedly. He's allegedly. Not Alleg- Excuse me. I don't want to go to prison when I get to my <laughs> But he blew her up in bed. It was allegedly his <laughs> wife as well. So we don't know. Oh, well, then that's a domestic dispute. Yeah. Not no, no, no not, the, not the model. His wife was the one who blew up the model. No, his wife blew her up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> I mean, Whatever, yeah, what happens behind know. closed doors that's is not a, the state's it's a business. marriage. Listen, it's not yeah, a libertarian. I mean, I'm not going to comment on anything that happens behind closed doors. Yeah. Uh, but here's the thing. Don't so, want to litigate the bedroom, you know? Do they have a libertarian party in Malaysia? No. <laughs> <laughs> we do, actually. It's, uh, it's not good. Uh, <laughs> so, so he's... Wait, can I ask a question about Najik? This yeah. guy has four, a 14-year sentence. <laughs> yes, is he... Bit. And he's still in parliament. Is he... Voting in parliament, like, is he voting from prison or is he? Do you no, know he's out of prison. prison. He's out. He's, he's out, out of appeal. He's, he's going through appeal. Is that does that the same in the U.S. If you're no, not usually no, not if you get a fourteen no, you appeal years. from prison, don't you? You would be in prison, nope. yes, in America. If yes. you had a fourteen years. No, but you have to understand one thing. Uh, the law applies in Malaysia very differently if you are in power and if you're right. in, if you're not. Yeah. If you have money and you are not, the law applies very differently. So, like so, a farmer you know, doesn't get the same benefit if he gets a fourteen oh, no, year sentence. For- if a farmer exploded a model <laughs> and stole four point five billion, yeah, allegedly, yeah, an awesome, yeah, farmer. allegedly, allegedly, yeah. and uh, yeah, I mean, look, people, people have been in jail for stealing milk uh, because they're poor, and mm. they don't get appeals. But you know, we, <laughs> they don't get to join parliament either, so it's fine. So, uh, so. So, uh, Muhyiddin, as mm-hmm. part of this, which what I see is like a big time sellout move by bringing back in the the mm-hmm. UMNO party, so he can stay in power, basically, right, yes. to maintain yes, his power. Uh, he also then Ismail Sabri is the home minister, and yes. and Ismail Sabri is also from the UMNO party, right? He is, yes, he is. Yes. So basically, to legitimize the UMNO party because they were waning off support. So to legitimize the Amno party in that coalition, what he did was he gave them posts, right? Ministerial posts and, of course, for Is- Ismail Sabri, the post of, uh, you know, deputy prime minister. Now, having said that, the, the, the president of the party, which is uh, Zaid Hamidi, right? So Af- Najib was the president of Amno, who was the prime minister at the time. When yeah. he lost the election, he had to step down. So his deputy, which was Zaid Hamidi, became the, the president of AMNO, right? Okay. Now, he doesn't have any post because he is also going through a court case about, <laughs> uh, on corruption. He's got 42 cases against him going on in court right now, right? Jeez, That's happening as we speak. Now, a lot, a, lot, a lot of these cases have been postponed because of the COVID as well. Yeah, so, lockdown plus, you can't have these cases. Yeah. Going on. <laughs> plus, no cases. <laughs> so basically, he's been pushing to get his uh, cases dismissed, right? Okay, because through, of COVID. Uh, no, no, I mean, no, through, through the parliament. Oh, like, just you in know, general. If okay. you want me to support you, Right, you know, just go away. Drop my cases, and I we'll be fine, right? Yeah. Uh, allegedly, again, I allegedly. love how Alan opened this all his. By the way, <laughs> like, yeah, it's very. Usually, this should this shouldn't this happen like in a closed room, back room <laughs> deals, or like in a parking lot oh, no, somewhere. No, no, I mean, this is this is all allegedly anyway. Yeah, this is allegedly. So, so allegedly that uh, Muhyiddin doesn't want to drop the cases for Zahid because he wants to make him a scapegoat. So he's he's promoted. A non uh, someone else as deputy prime minister, not him, right? Mm. So he's Muhyiddin's kind of playing his card, showing that look, I'm not, I'm not helping these guys, 
who we all know is guilty. Yeah. But you know, I'm st- I'm still trying to legitimize the 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 other guys who are in Amno. So you know, you guys can support me. And he's then, playing both sides wh- of the fence. Yes, he's trying yes. to be. So, yeah, he's trying to get everything. So so now while all this is happening, the cases have jumped, right? So we hit twenty thousand cases a day. Right. Right? And a country is, of 30 million people. Yeah, so a country a, of 30 million people. As opposed to have, 300 hit, million in the U.S. Uh, we, we're hitting 20,000 a day, which is pretty bad. And if you look at the per capita rates, it's even worse than Indonesia and India. Wow. Right? Uh, which, is, hmm. which is pretty bad. And the, the whole thing boiled down to, you know, uh, the fact that they refuse to shut down the factories that were working close quarters. And stuff like that. So they, they, a lot. I mean, again, I'm no expert, so I don't know what exactly is causing everything. But a lot of people have been saying that, look, if you close the factories at, you know, ten thousand, we wouldn't have gotten to twenty thousand. If you, mm. you, you, if you lock down the people, give them a curfew at eight o'clock, it makes no difference because these people are not going out anyway, right? And yeah, because the parliament, the and curfew thing never makes sense to me. To go on. Yeah. There is no way to question, you know, what's going on, because it's emergency. It's it's a state of emergency. Nothing can happen.